Fortnite just revealed Chapter 5 Season 3 and beyond in the state of Unreal Livestream. Today we cover everything shown from the Four Guys collaboration finally making an appearance, first person Fortnite coming back to iPhones, Chapter 6 information, so stick around until the end to get all of that and more today. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the Battle Pass or anything from the shop you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout so that means Bruh. another purchase had to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof of that recently on screen right now. Real quick before we go into the season 3 intel which I'm sure you all clicked this video for and believe me you're not going to be disappointed so stay tuned we have some immediate news regarding the wings of Icarus especially now more important than ever with the floor is lava mode. Epic Games made the following hot fix to the wings of Icarus, low gravity disabled when holding the wings, fall damage immunity is still there, leap duration when launching into the air has increased by 240%. This doesn't really affect normal battle royale but of course you're going to be hitting the lava quicker which does actually do quite a lot of damage in rapid succession. Speaking of the floor is lava and Midas being on the island as an NPC but not in the item shop you may be wondering when is he coming. Of course before that make sure you've got code FM1 entered once again it makes me and my dog Charlie the charcoal pug happy despite being one of the shortest codes to enter, okay thanks. Not only has that been revealed the official release date but how we can get in for free and early thanks to Fortnite competitive, go for gold there is no other option, the rise of Midas Cup kicks off March 24th 2024 with a link to an article which we're going to be going into in just a second, test your hand in competition for a chance to get the Ascendant Midas outfit, score 8 points for the rise of Midas loading screen, good luck. So from entering this article you can see in this specific section it states the golden king goes forward and a golden touch to your locker, the outfit of the escaped Midas aka Ascendant Midas will be available in the shop starting March 26th at 8pm ET. As will the Golden King's cape back bling, threaded with gold, literally add a golden touch to your locker, the golden touch pickaxe will be in the shop also. Not only that but they follow up with, I don't know why they didn't include it in the first paragraph, in addition to their default style, these three items will have the shade style as ghastly as Midas loves gold. Looking for a brilliant finish, the golden ascension wrap will also gleam in the item shop. As for how we can get this skin for completely free, here's the intel on that, rise above the rest in the rise of Midas Cup, a king always stays on top, competing the solo Rise of Midas Cup on March 24th, where players who earn the most points in each region will earn the Ascendant Midas outfit and Golden King's cape back bling before they hit the shop, while all players who earn at least 8 points will earn the Rise of Midas loading screen, with the release again of 29.10, another downtime update, the second of 5 we're going to be seeing this season as you can see on the schedule right now, going all the way up to 29.40 before 30.00, which is Chapter 5 Season 3, Again, we're going to be moving on to that in just a second. For reference, this is the Rise of Midas loading screen in case you were curious about the loading screen they were referring to for scoring at least 8 points in the actual cup. This initially was the teaser obviously confirming that Midas would be returning and the floor is lava mode would be in the update 29.0 one, but it's technically this event a two part update. We got the mode and of course the trailer showing off the skin in 29.0 one or when downtime actually started, but of course Midas isn't rolling around as stated in this article until 29.10, after all it's kind of a lit event. But Hopefully next time though, Epic Games better communicate this with us to expect it before one of the updates that it's going to be a two-part event update. So now moving on to the Season 3 intel and what was revealed today for the future of Fortnite going into 2025 after Chapter 6 is released, you heard that right, but most specifically Season 3 that was highlighted. To save you guys the time of watching the full live stream, we've got obviously snippets of what data miners have posted on X or Twitter regarding the features that are the most interesting or groundbreaking and then the official clips announcing these so you guys know they're legit. Starting out with, as you can see, first person is coming to Fortnite later this year from Sheena and a screenshot attached of the clip that I'm about to play right now, so let's roll it. Later this year, we're happy to finally announce that we're going to release the highly requested first person camera. It took a while, we know. First person has literally been worked on for so long, I think they gave us the first taste of it back in Chapter 2 Season 2 from a glitch in the device live event to only selected players, not to correlate everything to Midas as he was behind this, but of course since then too over the years they have been working on it and updating it multiple times, and even in that clip he stated, yeah I know it's been a while. Next up specifically Fall Guys x Fortnite that was teased in the Big Bang event from Sheena, Fall Guys x Fortnite, it will soon be possible to create your own Fall Guys games in Fortnite Creative, so I think this means that yeah it's completely moving over to Fortnite Fall Guys fully, and then Sheena also followed up with more interestingly specifying Chapter 5 Season 3, Fall Guys x Fortnite gameplay, coming to Fortnite Creative in Chapter 5 Season 3, so let's roll that clip of where it was revealed. I'm here to share that we'll be adding 
Fall Guys assets, animations, and of course, lovely Fall Guys beans to your event in May, so you can build your own frantic obstacle courses right inside Fortnite. Although he didn't specifically specify Chapter 5 Season 3, May, for those that don't know from looking at the Battle Pass, considering this season's just started, hence why you're probably puzzled as to why I'm making a video already, but this information's pouring out, so as a YouTuber I can't ignore it, and on the Battle Pass again, it states this season ends and Chapter 5 Season 3 starts on May 24th at 2am Eastern Time. Despite most of the things we've talked about upcoming for Chapter 5 Season 3 and beyond, even later in 2025, Battle Royale that we're about to mention, something added right now that's literally available are UEFN templates for Rocket Racing so we can create our very own experiences that not many people are talking about or basically posting across social media in shorter formats. And also starting today, we're releasing Rocket Racing templates and devices for you to build your own race tracks using the same track designs we use to build Rocket Racing. I guess this is giving us a good taste of what's to come, but speaking of also what's upcoming very soon are the new physics added to UEFN and Creative, and hopefully as an extent of that Battle Royale, considering the two are going to be integrated in the future which we're about to play, but first of all, let's roll the first look at the brand new physics that's going to be introduced to Fortnite, which honestly look mind-blowing compared to, you know, the first ever trailer of the game looking kind of clunky. Next, and this year we're also going to be enabling physically simulated characters in UEFN and creative, and the ability to dynamically simulate any static mesh. So this is basically the LEGO Fortnite physics and destruction system that we worked really hard on and now are being released broadly for all creators. We're super excited about the potential of true networked physics sandbox gameplay to enable creators to make interactive and emerging games that were previously not possible in Fortnite. I wouldn't have believed you six years ago if you told me this was the future of Fortnite, first person and all these different dynamics and allowing us to have the exact tools now to create a brand new Fortnite season as the devs, yes you heard that right, as in this next clip they announced that UEFN will be making future Battle Royale seasons and no that doesn't affect Chapter 5 Season 3 but Chapter 6 and beyond. We've always used our own games to push the engine forward, make sure it's battle tested for creators. And it's time for Fortnite development to move over to UEFN and Verse. By the end of 2025, we are going to ship our first season of Fortnite Battle Royale developed in UEFN. So by moving our primary development to UEFN and Verse, our aim is to accelerate feature development and ultimately result in a much more robust toolset for all developers faster. And what it means to everybody that, that chooses to, to use UEFN is that this is us ensuring that you're going to be able to build experiences at the level and depth and quality of Battle Royale going forward right inside Fortnite. Believe it or not, this is a very good thing despite the initial reaction of people on social media stating it's either going to be very good or very bad, it's only one of the two. And the reason why I can sum up no better than what Hypex stated right here, Fortnite Battle Royale will be shipped in UEFN starting 2025, but UEFN will be just as good as Epic's BR tools by then, so the content will stay just as good as it is now, if not better to be honest considering the innovations made by then. Speaking of innovations, right now some LEGO Battle Royale islands are available for instance red versus blue without builds but for lego considering a lot of items have just been recently developed in terms of weapons and such for fortnite lego so now instead of just the open world game of course we have more use for our lego revamp characters that fortnite is spending a lot of time on revamping the existing outfits every update and the new ones releasing and also this means that there's further reason for the collaboration into the future and it's not going anywhere considering now of course lego maps can be published by creators honestly epic games are on fire lately more so than you think as according to sheena and other data miners that was announced, Fortnite is coming back to iPhone by the end of the year. Here's a first look at the Epic Store for iPhone, and as you can see from the image, it's literally its own kind of like App Store section or hub for downloading games made by Epic Games, considering everything that went down with Fortnite being removed from the App Store in the free Fortnite movement back in Chapter 2 Season 3, if you remember that. And despite Epic having no luck with this Fortnite versus Apple movement, finally they've had some good news today, which I'm sure they're happy about. The United States has sued Apple, claiming they have an illegal monopoly on smartphones. In unrelated news, I have learned that Tim Sweeney has just opened a bottle of champagne and is currently dancing around his room full of joy. Obviously that's a joke, that last bit about Tim Sweeney, we don't know that for sure, but I go as far to say this is at least putting a smile on his face with this being good news overall for Epic Games and everything they've got going on with their metaverse, specifically Fortnite being the hub of it all. Around the time of this releasing, by the end of the year also, Fortnite is currently working on a minimal lobby feature set to be released in Q4 of 2024, reducing 
reducing the size of the overall Fortnite download to make it faster for players to make it into Fortnite, just like first person, Sheena expects it will drop around the release of Chapter 6, which of course is at the end of this year, considering the kind of trait we've seen since Chapter 3 of Annual Chapters. The final thing I want to cover is in relation to the direction of Chapter 5 Season 2 right now, with some mortals, of course with Zeus trying to wipe out all the mortals on the island, this means there's going to be mass destruction and hopefully a live event to end it off, thus resulting in a theme that I can only think of for Chapter 5 Season 3, that of a post-apocalyptic war. Either way, drop a like if you're hyped for the next season and the overall year of Fortnite as it progresses now with these announcements and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future uploads. Don't forget, enter code FM1 right now for picking up the battle pass if you haven't or the new Midas skin for when it rolls around on March 26th if you don't get it early, but speaking of other videos, click either of these two on screen right now whilst you're waiting for the very next upload I do publish on the channel.